Well, today's the day. I'm going to give this speech to you guys. Um, um, I'm just so nervous. <laughs> My back's tensing up. I got the jitters. Um, I'm sweating. But I really want to give this speech to you guys. But I'm so nervous. All right, I'm going to give my speech. The fear of public speaking is seen throughout America and the world. It is one of the most known phobias we have today. And today I'm going to talk to you about this phobia and how overcoming the fear of public speaking will lead to success. First, I'm going to talk to you about the phobia itself and some of the symptoms that pertain to this phobia. Second, I'm going to talk to you about how this phobia affects education from elementary school students to college adults. And lastly, I'm going to give you solutions on how to overcome this fear. At the end, we're going to combine this all together and we're going to learn that overcoming the fear of public speaking will lead to success. First, let's talk about this phobia itself. Glossophobia, the fear of public speaking, is seen throughout America and the world. It is one of the most known phobias we have today. And according to the National Institute of Medicine, it is the most popular phobia we have in the world. And according to the National Institute of Mental Health, there are some symptoms that pertain to this phobia. Some of the symptoms are tensing of the back muscles, sweating, and jitteriness. But not just regular people have this phobia. Even celebrities have the fear of public speaking. Here are some of the celebrities that have this fear. Pastor Joe Osteen, Adele, and King George VI. But they fought through it. They succeeded and are now some of the most famous celebrities we've ever had. According to NBC News, Pastor Joe Osteen, who was so scared to even get on stage, now pastors a church of over 45 thousand people in Texas on a weekly basis. Adele, who used to vomit before she went on stage, has won 16 Grammy Awards in her music career. And King George VI, who had the deathly fear of public speaking, was one of the most influential kings we ever had. Not necessarily the greatest, but one of the most influential so, as we see from the religious side to the pop side, and finally to the political side, overcoming the fear of public speaking will lead to success. Now, let's talk about how this phobia affects education. I had a friend who did a project on a bug. It was a wee little bug. And he worked hard on this project. He researched the project. He prepared the project. And he was about to present it. But he had the fear of public speaking. And was afraid to give his presentation in front of the class. But he fought through it. And at the end, he received an A on his project. The fear of public speaking even affects middle school and high school students. According to the standards brought to us by the West Virginia Department of Education, English teachers in middle school and high school are supposed to teach their students how to publicly speak. And today, there are some teachers that are not teaching their students how to publicly speak. 
I have even had teachers who did not teach me how to publicly speak. And therefore, sometimes I get nervous before I give a presentation. And it affects these students through college. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, over 63% of college students have a fear of public speaking. And they even have to take one public speaking course in college. But they fight through their fear. They pass their class. And according to the NCAA, over 73% of college students will end their college career with a diploma. So, as we see from a wee little bug in elementary school to that great big diploma in college, overcoming the fear of public speaking will lead to success. Lastly, I'm going to give you solutions on how to overcome this fear. My first solution is practice makes permanent. My band director has taught me practice makes permanent. Not perfect, but permanent. If you keep practicing your speech, it will get permanent in your mind and it will roll off the tip of your tongue. And you will not be nervous to present it because you already know the speech. My second solution is to find that smiling face. According to a psychological study that was done, when you find a smiling face, it relieves the pressure off you. You won't feel nervous anymore, and you'll be able to give your presentation in peace. And lastly, my third solution is to prepare your project. Prepare your project. If you prepare your project, you won't be nervous on how to give it because you will know what you are talking about and what the project is about. And you will be able to give it without any worrying of getting that bad grade. So, as we learn that practice makes permanent, as we find that smiling face, and as we prepare our pre presentation, you will succeed, and you will succeed while overcoming the fear of public speaking. So, I was a wee little nervous on giving this speech to you guys today, but we learned some pretty cool stuff today. We first learned about glossophobia and how it affects a lot of people throughout America and the world. It even affects celebrities like Joe Osteen, Adele, and King George VI, but they succeeded because they fought through it. We learned how it affects education from a wee little bug project to a public speaking course in college and that over 63% of college students have a fear of public speaking. And last, we learned about how to overcome this fear of public speaking by practice, by finding that smiling face, and by preparing our presentation. So, as we learn from all these points, from a wee little bug to finding that smiling face, we learned that overcoming the fear of public speaking will lead to success. I was a little nervous to start off the day, but I practiced my speech. I found that smiling face and I prepared my presentation. So I wasn't nervous, and I think I did a pretty good job on this presentation today. Thank you.